Hey friends, I'm going to shut this light off. That's much better. I'm going to give it just a few minutes for everybody to join. I'm actually starting the feed a little bit early. Hey Deborah. Hey Linda. Good to see you here. So to uh, tackle a few housekeeping items before we start, I want to explain what this is and I also want to just explain a couple of things for future viewers. If you are watching this video and there's a little red button up in the corner that says live, that means you're watching this video live. If there is no red button, that means you're watching a recording. In addition to that, if you are watching this on YouTube, you are watching a recording of a Facebook Live. So if you comment, which I love to see your comments, I will not see them in real time and be able to answer them in real time. So I'm just kind of giving that disclaimer at the very beginning here because I get a lot of people that are a little confused over if this is live or not live. So the way that you can tell if a Facebook Live video is live is by seeing that little red logo in the corner that says live. If that is not there, that means you are watching a replay. So um, this is a workshop and we're gonna talk about a little bit about what that is and I'll explain it to you in just a few minutes, but I wanna give everybody an opportunity to just get logged on. So while we're doing that, if you could comment and tell me um, where you're from, where you live, where you're from, and if you could also share with me um, maybe like, you know, your favorite thing to do, or besides crafting, of course, or maybe uh, your favorite dessert. I had everybody do a fun, um, like what's your favorite candy earlier. I posted that here in the group. So um, just comment in and share and say hello to each other. Um, so we have somebody in California. Yay, California, that's where I am. Okay, so we have a lot of people continuing to join. And I am going to go ahead and share this to another one of my groups really quick. And I wonder if it's gonna, if it will let me share it to my page. I don't think it will. So we have lots of people popping on. So I'm just giving it one second before we get going. Trying not to delay too long. Okay. Hey Mary, so happy you're here. Joining us from Jackson, not too far from me. Hello in North Carolina, hello in Ohio, Nebraska, Maryland, Wisconsin. We got people all over. That's so awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of explain what this is so that everybody understands because there has been a little bit of confusion just because this is my very first time doing one of these. So basically, instead of me coming to your home or you coming to my home and having a class or a workshop, we are doing it together online. I'm gonna make four projects today and I'm gonna be keeping those projects with pretty simple with minimal supplies so that you can see how easy it is to make a lot of different stuff using a few supplies. I do have a basic supply list here that I'm gonna show you in a little bit when we get down to it. Um, and I also have a host code for today. So the host code is good through April 7th. So if you are watching the replay, you can use the host code and you can take advantage of being part of my online workshop. So just because you don't order today, that's okay. As long as you place your order by April 7th, you will still be included. If your order is $35 or more, you will get a kit pack 
of all the projects that you see here today, plus a, pa a full pack of basic adhesive backed sequins. Say that five times fast, and I'll show you those in just a little bit. So the host code is listed in the description of this video. And if you're watching on YouTube, it is in the description below. And you just wanna plug that host code in when you're checking out, um, when you place your Stampin' Up! order online. Um, if you don't want to place a Stampin' Up! order online, but you want to order and be part of the workshop, you can email me your order uh, or you can call me with your order. So that's an option as well. And my email and stuff will be on this supply list that you'll see. Okay, so we're gonna make some fun projects. We're gonna chit chat. And um, if your order is $35 or more, you will get these kits for free. Um, and I'm gonna show you everything. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna cover up the video because I have to move the camera so it's facing down and I don't want to make you sick while I do that. Um, I don't want you to get uh, car sick, motion sick. So I'm going to cover this here and this will prevent you from getting sick while I, while I move everything around. So I'm going to flip things around. Give me just a second here. Thank you for your patience. Hello in Virginia Beach. Hey, Carol. So good to see you here. Carol was one of my very first customers. So nice to see you here. Yep, we're on lockdown here in California for sure. Um, hello in Tennessee and Missouri. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and stabilize this really quick. And hopefully you all can see really well. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some cute projects. And so here's my supply list, and these are the basic supplies um, for the first project, which comes to about $108. But what I did is every project that I'm making uses kind of all the same supplies with just a couple of ink pads added in here and there. But for the most part, everything is very similar. So um, you can get a lot out of these. Now, I'm gonna feature these two stamp sets, Witticisms and Label Me Bold. And the reason I picked these is number one, they're not on back order. <laughs> number two, they're not on the low inventory list. And they are both really, really versatile stamp sets. So you can use um, the sentiments from both of these for so many different things. And I love this one particularly right now because in California, we have gotten word that our schools will be out for the remainder of the year. So um, that actually was, was conveyed to us yesterday. So I plan on making several uh, graduation cards for my daughter's class who would be promoting to six, from sixth grade to seventh. Um, I'm also going to make them for some friends and family who were supposed to graduate high school and college and I just feel brokenhearted for them. So this will be a great one for that. And then there's of course all of these other fun sentiments that are perfect for right now. Um, so those are what we're going to use. These are our supplies. And I just want to quickly show you that these are the kits that you'll receive. So they're very basic and actually nothing is cut for you. You're going to get four pieces of Whisper White card bases, one granny apple green, five and a half by eight and a half, one half sheet of vellum, 18 inch strip of Whisper White Baker's Twine, a full pack of the basic adhesive backed sequins. That's these. And they come in a nice full sheet, but I cut mine down because I, I stick them in a little compartment. So um, this is what they look like. And we're gonna use them today on today's projects. And then one pizza box. So these pizza boxes are really cute. And this is gonna be our first project. And they actually come eight to a pack. So if you purchase a pack of these, you're gonna actually get eight of these. And these would be perfect 
for doing a graduation gift, like a gift card in or some cash. But today we're gonna do a happy birthday box. So here's the box that we're gonna make. And we're gonna talk about how I did that. Let me set these kits aside. And the other thing I wanted to just quickly show you is that I actually cased this from the spring mini catalog. So this is the box that they did and I just chose different colors and a little bit different punch size, but it's basically exactly the same. And I love using Stampin' Up's catalogs for inspiration. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our boxes. And you're probably thinking, how did she get that box so pretty? So I'm gonna show you. This is a Stampin' Spritzer. These come two in a pack. And all you have to do is add a little bit of re-ink refill to the bottom and then fill the rest of it up with rubbing alcohol. Now, if you don't have rubbing alcohol because it's hard to find right now, you could always use water. It's just gonna take longer for it to dry. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I pre, um, I pre, sprayed all these and they actually have glitter in them too. You can't really see it here on the video, but if you add a little bit of champagne mist glimmer paint to it, then you also end up with um, beautiful glitter in your box, which also gets on your hands, but that's okay. So these are really easy. You just fold the tabs in on the sides, fold this up, fold this over, Ta-da! And then you can close up your box. Now, if you want to add something inside, you could add a little bit of crinkle paper and add it. You could put candy in here. You can put a gift card in here. You could put cash. There's a million things you could add to this. So I'm gonna show you the simple, simple way here to make this box. We're gonna start with a piece of three by three Whisper White cardstock. And I've got all of my uh, inks here. I've got Melon Mambo ink I'm gonna start with. And then, let's see, I need to grab my, I put it away. I shouldn't have put that away. Hi, Christy, good to see you here. Aw, oh, thanks, Jennifer, you're so sweet. Jennifer just said, when I reach a million dollars in sales, she hopes that I create sentiments with my handwriting. And I would love to do something like that. Although it's funny that you think I have good handwriting. I'm not sure, I don't feel like I do, but other people say I do. Okay, so we're gonna ink it up and we're gonna do second generation stamping. So we're gonna stamp first on our grid paper and then we're gonna come in and stamp on our cardstock. And we're doing that just to lighten the image a little bit um, so it's not quite so strong and bold and it will match a little bit better to our box so I'm going to set my ink aside actually don't yes we are going to need that ink again so I'm just going to leave it open then the next thing that I'm going to do is take my memento tuxedo black ink and this is a really great ink to have on hand because you can do lots of things with it um, so I highly recommend having it if you don't already. Uh, where's my sentiment? There it is. And we're going to use happy birthday. Actually, you know what? I did a happy birthday already. So I think I'm going to change this to congratulations and then I can use it as a gift. So I'm going to clean my um, stamp off and I used my Simply Chamois and... Let's grab the congratulations sentiment. So you can just see how easily interchangeable all of this is. Oh, heavens, Rita, no need for apologies. You're not that late, we just got going. So I'm gonna ink this up and I'm gonna stamp it on my grid paper first to make sure it's inking well. So sometimes when you have a sentiment or even a, a large stamp that's solid, it can kind of uh, struggle a little bit getting a nice solid image your first time using it. So I like to 
ink up once and stamp off. And I kind of made that crooked. So what I'm trying to do is that's much better. Oh, but now it's not all the way black. That's going to bother me. Come on, Wendy. There we go. Okay. What did the, what did the announcement yesterday, Wendy? I missed about witticisms. Uh, I don't know. Did I miss something? Maybe I missed something. Because <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about. Okay. We are going to trim this out just by hand. It's really easy to do because it's just a rectangle. So you just stay in line, but keep a little bit of a space. And then it creates a little space around your sentiment. So we'll set that aside. Hello in Spokane. So good to see you here. Oh, uh, I don't know what I said. All I said is that um, witticisms is not on back order <laughs> and it's not on low inventory. So that is why I'm using these today so that you can order them if you want them. This is a piece of vellum and then I'm just using a one and a half inch circle punch to punch that out. And let me grab my twine. I know it's here somewhere. I'm looking right at it. I feel like I'm looking right at it and I don't see it. Oh, yep, see, it was right in front of me. Do any of you do that? Where you're, you have something right in front of you? I can't tell you the number of times I've done that. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue just in the center of this circle. And I'm going to take this twine and just kind of loop it back and forth twice. Okay, so almost kind of looks like a bow on the back. And now I'm going to use my dimensionals and I'm just gonna use one dimensional right in the center over the top of the baker's twine. You gotta kind of hold it in place and all that will set up very nicely and stay glued together. But for now, you gotta kind of be gingerly with it. Okay, and then we're gonna add this piece all together. to this little front piece here. And now you have this ugly little spot right in the middle, but that's okay, because we're gonna use our Tombow glue and cover it up, and you'll never really know it was there. We're just gonna disappear it. Hi, Denise, you did not almost miss me. You are totally good to go. I have not been on here for very long, so you're fine. Okay, so there's that. And then, oh my gosh, I totally forgot to add my stars. Ha, huh. okay, this is where we're gonna, we're gonna um, do a little bit of card surgery here. It's totally fine. So this is just how you kind of improvise, right? I would prefer for there to be a few back behind there, but I don't want to mess anything up. So I'm going to leave it alone. Nobody will know the difference except for me. Don't do what I did. Make sure you stamp your hearts first. I mean your stars. And those stars are in this stamp set. Okay. Oh, purple's her favorite color. That's so awesome, Mary Ellen. Hello, hello. Okay, now we are going to add these awesome adhesive back sequins that I told you about. And these are part of your kit if you place an order of 35 or more and use that host code. Um, now, if your order is over $150, please don't use the host code. Just go ahead and place the order. Um, because you'll get Stampin' Rewards. So you don't want to miss out on your Stampin' Rewards. And if you use the host code, you will. You'll miss out. So I don't want you to miss out on that. All right. 
So then I'm just gonna grab a piece of scrap basic black cardstock. So you'll notice this is cut thicker than this one. And that is because I simply just grabbed this scrap right from my scrap bin. I didn't even worry about cutting it or you know making it smaller or larger or whatever. So I just, cause it doesn't really matter. You don't have to overthink it. Um, basically as long as it folds together in the center, that is your main goal. So I'm gonna use some Tombow glue here. You could use tear and tape adhesive, but you do need to use something really strong. And that's gonna take it a minute to set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this down and set it aside and we're gonna move on to our next project and then we'll come back to this one while we let that dry. Okay, so Next project, are you guys liking this? Is this so fun? Have you been playing a lot of Farkle while your daughter has been home in between her schoolwork? <laughs> okay, so not everybody knows the Farkle story. Um, so Farkle is a game. And so this is our next card. Super simple, so easy to do. Again, this uses that witticism. So we're gonna use that Memento ink that we already have out. And we're gonna ink this up. And I will provide measurements for all of this. It will not be a fancy PDF, but I will provide quick measurements. And that's a little off center, which bugs me. It was actually more than a little off center. Let's be honest. It was like way off. Okay, there we go. Thank God for the back of a card, right? And here's a little tip for you. I am using aqua painters now. You're gonna squeeze your ink pad together. I actually have two tips for you. Um, so there's that. And then granny apple green. So we have those. And we're gonna use the aqua painter now. This is my tip. You might notice this aqua painter has a little piece of washi tape wrapped around it. That means that this aqua painter is only allowed to be used for painting. I don't use it for anything else because I use some of my aqua painters for spreading glimmer and glitz. And I, wanted an, I want an aqua painter that's clean and clear and doesn't have anything else in it. So that's why I wrap this one with washi tape. So we're gonna dip our aqua painter into the melon mambo and i'm starting on the side that i want to be the darkest which is where the little sketchy shadows already are and then i'm just going to finish it by coloring the entire strawberry and again we're using melon mambo instead of red so you're not having to get an additional uh, ink color out and then we're gonna color this with granny apple green. And in between each one, I'm cleaning it on a paper towel. Okay, so I'm gonna set these aside again because we're gonna keep using them. And here I have a card base that is, um, this is four and a quarter by 11, but you, you'll get eight and a half by five and a half. You fold it in half to make an A2 size card. And then uh, you have a piece of, this is four and a quarter this way by three and a half this way. And we are gonna use dimensionals to add this to the card base. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining me. It does not pill. So Beverly is asking um, if my Whisper White cardstock pills when I use my Aqua Painter. And the answer is no. And that is because I don't overdo it. So I'm gonna tell on my mom here really quick. I love her so much, but my mom is never knows when to stop when it comes to like crafting and art. And she'll tell you that. I mean, she actually had an art teacher tell her that once. Um, so, I told her one time she was using a, a blender pen actually. 
So you might notice I'm only putting adhesive in the center because I'm going to cover it with this piece. So that's important to know. So um, I told her, okay, when you use this, you can't go over it and over it. You can't work it into the paper. You just have to quickly cover it and move on with your life. And did she listen to me? No, she overworked it. So the paper started to pill and it will do that if you overwork your cardstock. Okay, so there's that, but I'm not done because I still have to have these cute little sequins added to this card. And the cool thing about this pack is it comes with lots of different colors. So you could use the green, you could use anything you want. I just like, I like white because I'm, I like things very monochromatic. And then we're gonna get into this Baker's twine again. <gasps> Sister, sister's joining us. Hi, sister. I love you. I miss your face. I miss your face. Okay, so we're going to pull each end. So funny story about these little bitty bows is sister hates doing them. And I've told her it just takes practice. Okay, so then we're gonna trim off the end and I'm going to use a, actually, you know what? We'll just use a daub, a little dab will do ya, right on the top of our strawberry. And we're gonna add this little feller down and you're set. Isn't that cute? So simple, but so cute. My sister is very funny. Yes, she is. Um, okay, and then the next one. <laughs> so she's actually trying to comment and it's interacting as me. That's pretty funny. Okay, so, um, cause she's an admin on my business page. So this piece of cardstock is cut at three by six and then I'm just folding it in half to make a three by three card. And it is a little top folding note card that way. And then we're gonna make this card. And this is so simple to make and this is a really great way to stretch your stamps. So what we're gonna do is we're taking the Talk About Awesome set or uh, stamp and we're gonna use this post-it note tape. Now this stuff can be found on Amazon and I will link to it here in the group if you wanna get some of it, but I really love it. Okay, so the first thing we've gotta do is we've gotta mask off the words. So we're gonna put this masking paper there to mask off the words. We're gonna bring in our Memento Tuxedo ink ink it up. Now we just have ink on the taco. We're gonna remove the masking. And I'm gonna take this piece of Whisper White cardstock and stamp my taco. And this is why I use the one and a half inch circle punch is because it fits. I tested this, by the way. And here's a great tip for you. If you wanna test out and see what will fit in a punch. Um, punch it in vellum, and then look, you can go over the top and it will fit all, every single one of these will fit in a one and a half inch circle punch. So all of these little images will fit in a one and a half circle punch. The only one that doesn't is the very end of the clock, but you could still get part of it. So that is just kind of a cool feature. So if you get witticisms, get the one and a half inch circle punch if you don't already have it, because um, you will be able to punch any of these little images out using that. Talk about sticking a kid's lip shut. <laughs> nice. Okay, so uh, now what are we gonna do? What's next? We're gonna use the Daffodil Delight ink. So I'm only using three inks for all of these projects. We've got Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, and Melon Mambo. And I'm going to get a little bit of ink with my Aqua Painter, start at the bottom of this taco where I want it to be the darkest, 
and then just move up and it will lighten as we go up and I want it dark back there too. Okay, this is how you clean it. You just wipe it down till it runs clear and you're good to go. And then we're going to use Granny Apple Green for the lettuce inside the taco. And now we're gonna do the sentiment. Okay, so we're gonna go back to this post-it note tape. And we are going to clean our stamp. We have to do that. This is a very important step. You can't not clean it. And then you can stamp it to make sure it stamps clean and it does, so you're good. And then you wanna cover up so we're gonna do it in two steps. We're gonna cover up everything except for the taco about. And then we're gonna ink it up, peel this away, and we're gonna stamp the taco about. Then we're gonna clean it again. Very important steps. Got to do that in between. And then we're going to cover everything except for the awesome. Ink it up. Peel it off. The peeling off part's important. Don't forget to do that. I can't tell you the number of times I've forgotten to do that. And now we've got the sentiment further apart so that our taco can fit in between. The cleaning stamp rag you can get online from Stampin' Up. It's called a Simply Chamois and it's only $8. And it comes in a bag and it's dry and you clean and it doesn't get on your hands. That's from me putting my hands in there. But it doesn't get on your hands off of the rag, which is really cool. So it's $8 and you can get it in my online store if you are looking for a place to purchase it, unless you're a demonstrator, in which case then you can go online and buy it there yourself with your discount. So let's talk about that. If you are interested in making a purchase with me and you're planning on spending over $100, I would really encourage you to purchase the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit for $99 because you get $125 in product and I totally missed a step. You get $125 in product and you only pay $99. So that's really cool. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to slide this under and I did it. So don't be like me. It's like when I'm talking, I can't, I'm trying to moderate comments here. Becky White, catching live, first time watcher. Hey Becky, welcome to the show. Super happy you're here with us. Ooh, dinner, tacos for dinner tomorrow. What's everybody having? So has anyone else experienced the fact that being in quarantine or lockdown um, has you cooking way more than normal and like baking and all the things? Because it is for me and I think my husband's loving it. All right. So we're gonna tie the bow here. Ah, come on, tying bows on camera, I tell you what, it's a tough thing. Okay, there's that. All right, and then we're gonna add sequins. Did you know that was coming? You should have. Sequins. I love sequins. Love them, love them, love them. Done. Look at how cute is that. Love it. Okay, we have one more. And for those of you who have maybe joined late, I'm just going to go ahead and do a little commercial break before we do our last project. And then we're going to have a giveaway. 
Actually, I'm not gonna announce the giveaway live. I will announce it after because I have to pull everybody's door prize responses. So if you did not enter the door prize drawing by filling in the form, there is a link to do that. So this is the host code for this event. And if you spend $35 or more, you will receive from me in the mail a packet that has a pizza box, some card stocks, some twine, and a full pack of these ad adhesive sequins. All you have to do is place a $35 order or more using the host code here. And it's also in the description of this video. And you can shop with me at shoplevinstampin.com. So, um, yep, that's how you do that. All right, let's go back to what we were doing. Uh, here we go. So this is the last card. And again, you can see I've used the same ink colors and tried to keep with the same feel and theme. Now, you could switch this up and have this be different colored cardstock. There's lots of things that you could do to enhance this and make it a little bit fancier, um, but I wanted to keep everything really simple so that if you're a new stamper, you can see how with just a few products, you can really make a lot of cool stuff. So we're using that Granny Apple Green ink again. And this is from, so we're mixing stamp sets now. This stamp set is from the Label Me, or this stamp is from Label Me Bold. These are the two stamp sets we're using, and they're really a great set to combine. And then we're going to use the Granny Apple Green cardstock. This is cut at three by three, three inches by three inches. Yep, all the cards are just using the two stamp sets, Kathy. So they're Witticisms and Label Me Bold. Those are the two that we're using. All right. So we're going to get this and stick it here. Kind of just right in the center. And then we're going to do our stamping here. And I'm, again, using that Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm going to use the cactus image. And then we're going to use that aqua painter again. And I need a little more ink in there. So to get the ink, you're just going to squeeze the center together and it puts ink into the palette. Such a fun trick. Trick of the trade. Okay, and I'm just real quick with that because actually Memento ink is not really designed to be used with water, but you can definitely get away with it if you're quick about it. And then we're just gonna put a few little flowers coming off the top of here. And again, you really, it doesn't, you know, like keep it simple, nobody cares. You know what I mean? Like somebody's gonna get this card and they're gonna think it's fabulous and it doesn't matter if you do it perfectly, I promise you. Okay, and then we're gonna add dimensionals to this layer and this piece is cut at two and a half by two and a half. You can absolutely use reinkers with aqua painters. Yes, you can. And then of course, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna add sequins. All right. So I've got one here. I kind of put that on there a little bit crooked, I think. And come on, Wendy, there we go. 
I have a piece of hair in there. I'm gonna blame my dog. It is totally a dog hair. At least I caught it. Do any of you have pets? I'm sure somebody else knows my pain. Okay. All right, there we go. So there's our four projects. Let's go back and finish our first one really quick. Uh, Jennifer, somebody said thanks for the info. What'd Jen say? Okay, I don't know. I'm, I lost a comment. Sorry, guys, but it's going very fast and I'm trying to watch comments. Okay, so we've got our finished piece here and we're just going to add it now to this area. And then I'm gonna do a Q and A session here at the end. So stick around, don't run off. And maybe I'll just do a quick live giveaway um, and then I'll announce my door prize winners afterwards. But look how cute this is. Look how cute this is. Oh, and then it just slides right off so that they can get into their box. So stinking cute. Okay, ooh, mac and cheese with crescent dogs. So I'm making mac and cheese tomorrow night with hot dogs. Um. And my family's gonna flip out because I never ever make mac and cheese and I never make hot dogs. So, but I wanted something for a Friday night that was gonna be super easy. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. Okay, so there's all of our projects. Let's look at all of them because they're so cute. All right, so Let's have some q and I'm gonna flip, do you guys want me to flip the camera back around so I can, well, we can just do it like this. So let me look at your comments here to see if I missed anything. Um, does a gift card fit in the box? Yes, it does. Yes, it does, with plenty of extra room. Ooh, quiche with a fruit salad, that sounds amazing. Uh, let's see. Just looking for your guys's. Yep, you can use reinkers with your aqua painter, no problem. Uh, we are finally able to get fresh meat after three weeks of going without it. Oh my goodness, Robin. You haven't been able to find meat, that's scary. Oh, someday, when I grow up, I wanna be like you, Rita. I wanna have a winter and summer home. My stores don't have flour or yeast. Yeah, we don't, we're having a hard time finding flour and yeast as well. Okay. Yep, I can, I totally uh, watercolor with this and ray inkers. It's a great way. Ooh, empanadas. Oh, that sounds amazing. I've never heard of beer bread, Renee. Does SU have a new tin coming out? Not that I know of, Jessica. If they do, I'm not familiar. My sister says beer bread is amazing. Never had it, don't even know what it is. But I have beer, do you use beer in it? <laughs> I want a recipe now. Uh, I work at Target and supplies are coming. Just be patient. Oh, absolutely. Yes. I have a mini dachshund too. Yes. B 
Beer bread is the bomb. Beer bread with chili. Okay, clearly I need a beer bread recipe. Hello. Somebody help me out. Do you mail out catalogs? I do. Yes, if you place an order with me, you automatically get your catalogs in the mail for free. Um, in fact, we have a new catalog being released pretty soon. Um, in May, we'll be able to get our hands on it and then I'll be able to actually go ahead and forward that catalog out to my customers. So my customers automatically get a catalog from me for free, people who have ordered with me in the last six months. And then anybody else who wants a catalog can pay for one. Um, they can pay to have it shipped to them because they're pretty pricey to ship. So um, I always pay for the catalog. You don't have to pay for the actual catalog, but you do have to cover the shipping. So, um, but if you order from me, then you get it free. Okay. Ah, uh, thanks, Beverly. You're so sweet. I try. I try to do well. <laughs> okay, we're going to wrap this up. Um, this, normally, the reason you're using a host code for this workshop to place your order is because that will allow me to um, get products using a host code for free. I will get the stamp and rewards. So normally, if you were hosting an online workshop with you and your friends or at your home, you would get all of the host rewards out of people's orders. So if you're interested in doing that, let me know because I would be happy to do this for you in a special group um, just for you and your friends so that you could be the hostess and get the host rewards. Um, but I'll get the host rewards and I'll use those host rewards to get you your sequins for free and to get you your pack uh, of goodies so that you'll get the one pizza box plus all the card stocks plus the twine and then of course the full pack of sequins. So if you place a $35 order or more with me, between now and April 7th, actually I think I opened this host code up a couple of days ago. So between then and April 7th, you can expect to get this kit in the mail from me uh, in, in the coming few weeks, okay? All right, I think that wraps us up. I love all your guys' comments. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And I will make sure to post a link to this post-it note tape uh, here in the group because it is definitely something that I have to have on hand and you can just get it on Amazon. So um, I'll post a link to that so that you, you can purchase it. And I think that's it. I think you guys, uh, you know, you've just made my day. You've made my day being here with me. This is the most people I've ever had on a Facebook Live, actually. So that's super cool. Maybe I need to go live in a group more often versus my, my business page. This is really fun. If you guys enjoyed this workshop, I would really love to know because it's actually something I'm considering doing on a weekly basis. So if, if you think that this is something you would want to tune into on a weekly basis, let me know. And I, I send you all, thank you so much for all the hearts. I send you guys all the love and joy there is to have. And I wish you all health and happiness and lots and lots and lots of crafting. Sending you all my love from California. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.